Yeah, beat your addiction, live free Ralph Reed Ricks is who you see Listen in when you're feeling low Take back your life, today show Beat your addiction, live free Ralph Reed Ricks is who you see Listen in when you're feeling low Take back your life, today show Stay positive, hope, and keep faith Stand strong against any odds that you face Put away the alcohol and the drugs Fill your time with the things you love Addiction is tough, but it's worth the work Treat your body what it's worth Spread positivity, inspire all If we stand together, we will never fall I help others see the other sides of life A sober life, letting go of the strife So give me a call, I can help 1-844-405 Help Homeless shelters, hospitals, jails, wherever you are I am Ralph Friedrichs and I am here for you 1-844-405 Help Hello, my name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an author, addiction recovery coach, life coach, and a host of this show, the Take Your Life Back radio show and the Take Your Back Life regular show. Combined together, let's talk about sobriety. We've all read the self-help books telling us why it's great, why sobriety is so great. We've scanned the many, many quotes on the internet that remind us how great it is to be sober. Your best days are ahead of you. The movie starts when the guy gets sober and uh, he puts his life back together. It doesn't end there. Folks, this stuff is fine, but we often don't shed enough light on the fact that there are hard things about sobriety that you must face. It can be uncomfortable and sometimes boring. We don't like to focus on uh, that for fear of inciting relapse, but the truth is recovery is all about acknowledgement and the lack of denial. The good and the bad come with sobriety. Recovery from any addiction is hard uh, in many psychological ways. Here are three unexpectedly hard things about sobriety as a reminder that you're not the only one that feels them. Number one on my list is change is uncomfortable. I know uh, that you're likely thinking, duh, of course it's uncomfortable, or otherwise I would have done it way before now. What people feel to understand about recovery until they go through it is that the whole process is uncomfortable because it's an unknown factor. Addiction is always a known factor. It keeps you in the same place with the same feelings and the same state of being for however long you're living it. Addiction comes with predictable chaos. I like to say it is chaos. Oftentimes that chaos can become a comfortable norm. When you go through recovery, especially in those first couple months, my friends, everything feels uncomfortable. Everything is strange because you're seeing the world through sober eyes again. You're inside your deepest thoughts that are beginning you to make decisions about what is next. If you don't have that excuse of addiction holding you back, then what next? Not only is the change uncomfortable, it's scary. In the beginning stages of recovery, we are constantly trying to reevaluate life and what we want out of it. Now that we are becoming free of chain, uh, free of the chains that held us down, we don't know uh, what that life will be or will it be successful. Oftentimes, we made a lot of poor choices through our addiction. We uh, can lessen our self worth or trust we have in ourselves to make good decisions in the future. It's all about building up that self worth to know that. You can move forward and make a life that is uh, worthwhile living, even joyful. Understand that sobriety in itself is uncomfortable in the beginning. Accept that and work with it instead of trying to push the discomfort away. It will serve in building up your worth again. It will only serve in making you a stronger person. Number two on my list is you have high expectations to stay strong. 
I turned the phrase living in the flexible okay. A few months ago on when discussing recovery, uh, I used that term. It means exactly what you think it means. To live in a in the flexible okay that is recovery and can be content you found that place at all. There's always this assumption that goes along with seeking recovery. And it's that feeling that you've snapped your fingers, made the choice to get clean, and everything should align the way it's supposed to. That, my friends, will never happen. We put a lot of pressure on ourselves to be perfect in recovery, and no one is. Typically, we have the support of our friends, the support of our families throughout the process, and we do not want to let them down. To let them down in recovery only means you feel like you uh, disappointed them. You failed yet again. People often enter into recovery in in the first place to save their marriages or their families or to mend the relationships they've destroyed throughout the years. Regardless of why you entered, there is always the pressure to stay in it. That's the easy part. The hard part is understanding that it will not be flawless. People left rehab after struggling with eight years of eating disorders and drinking and drugging disorders. And the moment they went back home, they ran much and pulled uh, uh, right back into the same activity. With uh, uh, their tail between their legs, they had to waltz right back to outpatient treatment the next morning and admit that They've pushed it too hard in their recovery. This will happen to you in alcohol, drug sobriety as well. The statistics of relapse are a staggering 90%. No one gets out of uh, uh, this uh, easy. If you relapse, tell someone. Addiction, as you know, thrives off the shame so that it can stay clutched to you. If you take a drink, it is not the end of your recovery world. It is merely a misstep. Figure out why you did it and know that you don't have to make that choice ever again. Last on my list is boredom. Think about that, boredom. Nobody likes to admit this, but life can feel quite boring in the first few months of recovery, which can be a reason why people relapse at such fast and alarming rates that they do. When you become so wrapped up In addiction, you lose everything else, who you are and what you are without the addiction. What do you even like to do without the addiction? What are your hobbies now? What uh, were they as a kid? You have to dig deep and be willing to take steps to explore now that you're sober, now that you're no longer hanging out with the people who drank and drugged with uh, before treatment, you will likely feel a sense of boredom. I felt this many times in my first few months of my recovery, and I wish someone had addressed it with me while uh, I was going through it on my own, without any rehab or treatment. When you're feeling like you want to drink out of boredom, restlessness, or loneliness, call your support group or your sponsor or a good friend. Make new friends, pick up some new hobbies, and return to the activities you enjoyed before you started blacking out and forgetting all about life. Find employment, return to school, occupy your time. Having plenty to do will help with the feelings of self-worth. But you have to be willing to put yourself out there and explore. At the end of the day, my friends, recovery is a tough cookie. Or we would all have done it before had it not been. Being aware of what to expect and acknowledging that it's very uncomfortable in the beginning, helps ease the psychological aspect and the psychological pressures we put on ourselves to have this perfect recovery story. Over time, it will get easier. These complex feelings will both fade and return at various times. That is the flexible recovery we all should expect and strive to keep. Call me at 844-405-HELP. Together, you and I, we can help each other take our lives back. Remember to be good to yourself and be good to others. And remember my book, Struggles Became My Strength. A simple smile to a total stranger can change their lives and change your lives forever as well. May God bless you. May God bless your America. And my first book, Bottoms Up, Surrendering to God, Not to Booze, 
and struggles became my strengths are available at Amazon, Barnes and Noble, Books a Million, or directly write me. Take good care of yourselves and remember God truly, truly loves you. If you remember that, your life will start changing tremendously. Take good care. Talk to you soon. The show is over, but your life starts today. Taking back your life's the only way. Keep faith, stay positive, push through. Take back your life, it starts with you. Alcohol and drugs can't control your life. Let go of the negative and the strife. Ralph Free Rick is the man guiding your way. The show is over, but your life starts today. Call Ralph Friedrich at 1-844-405-HELP. That's 1-844-405-HELP. We hope you love the show today and tune in next time. Take back your life today show with Ralph Friedrich. Yeah. Folks, remember my books that are out on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, and many other places. The first book is called Bottoms Up, Surrendering to God, Not to Booze. And the second book is Struggles Became My Strength. May God bless each and every one of you. And remember, God truly loves you. Hope to talk to you all real soon tomorrow. Thank you for listening to the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. And thank you for viewing me on YouTube on the Take Your Life Back Today's show. Take good care. Bye-bye now.